Hey, today we're going to put together a 124th scale trailer kit, a new, uh, a new kit that I'm uh, offering. And uh, this, this will be a, uh, it'll come in kit form. So this will be the instruction video for how to put it together. Uh, I always feel like the videos are a little bit more detailed and tell some tips and stuff uh, better than what the paper instructions do. So hopefully you find this helpful. Um, so there's, it's really just a, a putting a bunch of screws in here. Um, and, uh, there's, as far as the kit itself goes, it will not come with any wheels or tires. Um, it's, it's modular so that you can use uh, different sizes and, and styles and stuff. Um, but I did not want to, uh, you know, inflate the price, uh, just for, um, trying to include wheels and tires that people may or may not like. Um, the ones I've tested with that work good are uh, the small Kyosho Mini Z 4x4 Jimny uh, wheels and tires. Uh, these are the Toyota and Jeep uh, Mini Z 4x4 uh, tires. Um, and then uh, for larger ones, uh, these are the stock uh, SCX24 uh, Jeep or Deadbolt. Uh, wheels and tires. Uh, they're the seven millimeter hex. So, uh, so the same kit uh, is capable of building uh, a trailer to use uh, any of those styles tires. Uh, the kit will come with uh, fenders for the Kyo the smaller Kyosho style uh, wheels and tires, and then it'll come with these individual fenders uh, for the larger uh, wheels and tires. So. Um, I, I tried to make it as you buy one kit and, and you can do whatever style trailer you want. You can do double axle, you can actually do a single axle, um, and the boards uh, are, are lined so that they look like, uh, they look like board, individual boards, but you can flip the board over and it will um, it'll be solid, uh, so just depending on what type of look you're going for. You can also, it comes with plastic bushings, but you can also use uh, uh, Mini Z uh, rear, uh, rear axle uh, size uh, bearings. Um, I'll have those, the actual the bearing size listed um, with, the, with the documentation. So if you want to actually put bearings on it, you can. Um, the bushings seem to do fine. Um, I will say that, you know, these are not, these are not, so rugged that you're going to want to pull them around for three days out in the woods uh, through the muck and, and mud and stuff um they're they are sturdy enough to where you can put you know a decent amount of uh you know stuff on them but they're i wouldn't recommend using them for weight pulls or putting 30 pound weights or anything crazy like that on them because um, they are more for scale look and stuff like that um so so anyways, uh, as far as size-wise goes, um, you can see this is a uh, Kyosho Mini-Z drift car. This is a Kyosho Mini-Z F1. Um, it, you, know, you can see it fits those uh, nicely. Um, as far as the, the Mini-Z, this is a, a lifted Mini-Z Jeep. Um, it seems to do uh, good. You can also you know, carry it around. Uh, on the on the trailer, uh, you can also put uh, SCX24. Uh, you know, it fits a little better on the on the bigger ones. So, uh, so just to give you an idea. You can always use uh, one pull the other with, of course. So, uh, just a few ideas there. Uh, also, the bigger one sort of goes nicely with the with the Atlas, uh, larger tires and stuff like that. So. So anyways, just to give you an idea of what the, the size will look like. Um, there also will be an optional rail kit uh, if you if you want to get uh, rails uh, to put on it. So you can put them on and like so. The rail kit also comes with ramps. So if you want to put ramps on it, you can you can do that. So um, so the rails and ramps will come together as a set um, as an option uh, if you want to get that for the trailer. 
Um, I'll also be offering a, a few other options uh, later. Uh, th they probably will not be ready by the time this video goes live, but um, one example may be uh, an enclosure that will actually fit on the trailer and uh, and actually make it an enclosure. This this is a very early uh, prototype that of enclosure, so it's not quite ready yet. So we'll just set that back over there out of the way. All right, so so let's get to putting one together because uh, that's really what this video is for is uh, is is putting putting one together. How do you do that? Uh, should go together pretty simple. Main thing is just got. A lot of screws so, so this will be the main kit um, got again two two separate styles of fenders um, one for the larger SCX 24 uh, one for the smaller ones today we're going to use the Jimny uh, the Kyosho Mini Z Jimny uh, wheels and tires so uh, so we'll, we'll use the, the Kyosho fenders for those we'll set the other ones aside um, the main components will be uh, the tongue uh, two side rails, back piece, and then uh, a couple of cross braces uh, to help hold everything together. Um, there'll be a small bag of uh, the smaller parts, and we'll go ahead and pull those out. There, I, I put a few extra pieces in here just in case you need to tweak one or something, but these are what I'm calling the axle blocks. Uh, they they hold the the bushings and the axles and they actually it's it's the same thing you mount the the fenders to, so um, I put five in there just just in case you um, have to have to do any work on one or anything like that. Main thing with these is just to make sure there's one side that may look ever so slightly rough on the inside. You may just want to uh, you know take a fine tip and clean that out just a little bit. I try to clean them out as best I can, but um, there's some supports that go in there. Uh, as far as other stuff, there's uh, if you've got any of my trailer hitches that, uh, like for the Jeeps or the the, the Jimneys or the um, uh, SCX 24s and Atlas, this is a slightly different style. Um, it actually, I've got it on this SCX 24. Gives you a little bit better range uh, as far as up and down. You can actually flip it over, move it around uh, just for height adjustment. So I include that, um, that it really just works with, you know, the, the set that I make. Um, so I'll just set that aside. The other small parts, I'll just dump out in here. Um, it's bushings, the, the larger bolts. Um, and then these are the, I guess I'm calling them the axle spacers. Uh, it's actually what helps the wheels and stuff mount to the screws, so... Anyway, I'll just leave all the screws and stuff there. So, so that's the main parts. Um, let's. Uh, I'm just gonna move all this stuff out of the way. We'll work on the axles in a minute. Uh, to do the the main parts of the frame, uh, I just take. I start out with the tongue. Um, you can see sort of which sides uh, up here. I flip it over, and then I'll take the rails. Should have a. Three, three holes on this side, one hole on, on this side. Uh, I'm not sure if you can actually see that, but I'll take those three holes and just sort of line up with that tongue. And then I'll take the other rail, three holes right over there. So from there, I'll start putting some screws in. So I, 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 I have enough space to put three screws on each side, but I, I don't actually put three screws on each side. I just put two, so. And just remember these are plastic parts, so you don't need to crank them all the way down and, and strip them out. Go ahead and put the cross braces on. I'm 
Actually, just so you can see a close up, there's there are some little notches. That's where the cross braces will, will go. So All right, now that we got this, uh, I'll take the flatbed, the cross braces are the bottom side. So with this, just decide whether you wanna do the stripes or not the stripes. I personally like the, uh, the little stripes that make it look like individual boards, but just slide it right in from the back. And then take the back piece. You'll see there's a sort of a, a short side and a long side. Uh, the short side's going to go on top. So flip the whole thing back over. Just put a couple of screws in these end pieces. We'll hold it on. gets the main part of the flatbed put together so I'm just going to take that set aside for a second uh, and then we will work on the axles so again there's there's five of these you only need four um, so we'll start with I'll just put these right here It'll be easier to get to go ahead and get uh, two of the bushings and go ahead and push those into those center holes then get one of the larger screws uh the kit the kit may have silver screws the kit may have black screws um, just depends on what my supplier uh, has available uh, the sides that you put these in you'll notice there's a notch on what will be the top right here so this the the larger bolt will go through the side opposite of where those notches are so just push that on through it might be a little a little tricky to get in the bushings but that's okay all right and we can use the axle to sort of press fit it in there all right, so now I like using a, a longer one of these and the axle spacer, you'll see one side has basically three, three little, I guess, little notches on it or, or, or dots. Those are what correspond to the Kyosho Mini Z wheels. Because uh, they have that, uh, I guess it's a star pattern or a y, y pattern or something like that. Um, so those need to be on the outside. So when we go to thread this bolt into the, the back side, you're doing the opposite side. The, the one that has the smooth circle on it. So that's the side you want to get threaded on there. And actually, I left my other tool. Let me go grab it real quick. All right, so I have some, I don't know, I've always had a bunch of these uh, wheel nut um, sockets from back in the day, and I think some of the newer ones come with them too, but I have these metal ones, so I like using that. Uh, it goes, goes on the 7 millimeter hex side real good. So at this point, you just want to, tighten it don't uh again don't crank it down real far but i use it to make sure the the bushings sort of get seated in there so i tighten it up enough to where it doesn't really turn and then i'll just 
start backing it off just a little bit. I'll keep doing that and testing it until it uh, starts to move fairly, fairly easily. Without without bearings and and sometimes even with bearings, you're not going to get it to where you spin it and it just you know keeps going on forever like a like a, like you would with a a race car or something. But you just want it to where it'll where it'll rotate and let the tire turn. All right, I think that's pretty good. It'll and it because it'll loosen up a little over time. So. So there's one of those. So let's repeat that three more times. And this is where I'll speed the video up while I put these together. Okay. So we got all four of these uh, these ready. So now let's go ahead and mount them uh, to the trailer. So we'll just simply again flip the trailer over, which crossbars in the bottom, and you'll see on here there are a number of screw holes. Hopefully it shows up in the video, but uh, there's a couple back here, three here, and here. Um, basically. We'll start with the ones in the very front. So that that if you want a single axle trailer, that'll be the only one you do. One of those on both sides, um, and then it, to do the short shorter wheelbase, we'll put one directly behind it. If you want a lar longer one, so that you can put larger tires, you'll move on back to this set of holes. So this is where those notches uh, come into play, which. You know, right here is so that they can straddle that screw that sticks up. So let's start by putting some here. Take just take two screws and screw down the axle. Give you a better idea for the Kyosho and for the Kyosho wheels and tires. I'm going to put it here for the SCX24. I'd put them there. All right, I'll go ahead and do the the other three axle sets. All right, I've got those mounted, and now. I'm going to go ahead and put the fenders on. Of course, the fenders are optional. You know, they don't serve any functional purpose. But uh, when you turn it sideways, you'll see there's four screw holes on the side of that. It will line up with the smaller fenders. So I will just put four screws in to hold those on. Okay, now I've got the fenders on, the uh, axles are in place, it's been pretty good, you can always adjust them afterwards, and now all I need to do is mount the tires. So um, again, these are the Kyosho with the Y adapters inside, so you just want to sort of press fit them, they, they should go on fairly easy. And then you're just going to take one screw, put in from the outside. And then repeat that three more times.
Okay. And that is a completed trailer. Again, you may need to uh, loosen those up just a little bit if there's too much too much tension for them to roll. And again, if the more you loosen them, the more likely they are to uh, to wobble. So I would just loosen them up enough to where they roll freely enough where it moves. So so that that's the one with the the chimney. So uh, if you do get the rail kit, uh, it will have extra screws. So when you put the rails in. If you want the rails to definitely stay in without accidentally popping out or something, uh, just take uh, the screws. You'll see there's a hole on the side that corresponds with where the little post is. Just go ahead and put a, put a screw in there. Uh, the screw will, uh, will go into the the edge of the board just a little bit so uh, but it shouldn't actually poke through just uh, just keep an eye out for that so other than that uh, again I, I may uh, have some addition by the time the video goes up I may have some additional options available uh, otherwise uh, they'll be coming soon and this one is ready to start pulling some stuff around so, all right, hopefully this video was helpful and uh, get you get you lined up with, with putting the trailer together. Uh, if you've got any questions or anything, feel free to hit me up. Uh, if you get the trailer kit, you'll have my direct uh, contact information. You can also uh, you know, message me uh, or make some uh, uh, replies on the video. Uh, I'm not as quick responding to those, but I, I do try to. Um, and other than that, uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully this has been helpful. And let me know if you have any questions. Thanks a lot, and keep on crawling.